welcome to Eddie's Football Waffle, yeah. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Hi. <laughs> now, please get with the policy. And that is to hit the like on the premise that the video will be good. Come on, do it now! And if not, you can take back your free like. But please don't do that. Don't do it! We've just seen Man United smash up Nottingham Forest in the Carol Bow semi-final first leg. 3-0. Yes! Yes! Could have been more. Rashford, aka Rash Bappe. What? Rash Bappe carries on the form. This could be turning into class because we know form is temporary and class is permanent. Yeah. I'm hoping that we're going to see this this talent fine tune and, and get towards those levels. And dribbling has to be one of them things he's got to really fine tune because it was a bit clunky when you got through those two players from goal. But but anyway, it was it's, it's smashing form. You can't argue with his overall stats man i'm sure it's, is it is it 18 goals and 29 appearances for the season now but the guy is on fire we've also seen the horse has finally eaten yes he's not any longer the ghost he's got he's got onto the onto the score sheet and then we see bruno with a great volley to put it to 3-0 and I'm still not quite convinced of him as captain, but still, well done, captain. And talking about Nottingham Forest, they had some moments of counter-attacking danger, like the goal that was offside. There were some moments where that like, Ben Johnson was nutmegging the likes of Martinez, I think it was. There was little intermittent scares but overall we could see Nottingham Forest there's no surprise why they're in this relegation battle in the league they don't really have that quality and that they pretty much allowed Man United to do their high press and it looked like a training session at times where Man United were practicing getting in big positions and trying uh, the triangle of passing you can see there's, there's not enough speed on the passing at times Man United are going to take a bit of time to get used to this Ten Hag fluid system but it's, good, it's obviously awesome that they're trying it and not just trying to patchwork every game so even though United is still clearly learning this, this Ten Hag system they're putting away the teams that you need to put away killing all these minnows yes! in terms of like the subs it was it was, it was good to see Palestri and Garnacho again I mean these guys uh, they look like the most natural wingers in the squad. I mean, I know Rashford's scoring, but he's more of them. He's more of that inverted um, shot scoring winger. Garnacho and, and Palestri look like these natural wingers that want to just stretch a team, want to do little little dribbles, get them quick crosses in. And I hope, I hope we see them start in the the FA Cup game against Reading because obviously Reading, they're a Championship team, so really they should be worse than Forest. And we just got. We should be in the final now with this Carabao Cup. So really, maybe Stone Cold Ten Hag maybe Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold Ten Hag maybe chill out, maybe leave one of these cups, man. Because the one game every three days is crazy. That's why I think we're going to see a bit more youth against Reading. And yeah, because if, if that doesn't happen with the rotation, there's surely going to be another burnout like we saw against uh, Aston Villa in the in the three one loss. So like I'm saying, Man, Man United surely are in a first final. Yes! So Forrest, you should just do like what, what people do on FIFA. Just 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 forfeit. Take a 3-0 loss by default. You can go and rest. Prepare for your for your relegation fight. Man United can have a rest. Just take the day off and get ready for, you know what I mean, for the final. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy. But anyway, if you like this part in the video, hit the like and subscribe. What what, what do you think we're gonna see? Is Ten Hag gonna keep playing the you know first team guys? Does he is he gonna really try and win every game? I mean, he doesn't have the squad for it. Are we gonna see the first team against Reading, or or, or do we see the youth? Who, who do we see? Anyway, I'm waffling. Hit the like, subscribe, and peace.